What up, everybody? Okay, we're going to learn some math. So good, so good, so good. It's going to hurt your eyeballs for how good this math is. Okay, so we've got x squared, and then we've got no thing writing. No thing. That's like nothing, but less best pronounced. Okay, so we got x squared times 3 minus 5x, and they're telling us that x is negative 2.2. Okay, so... All you have to do in a situation like this is, they're giving you what x is. So all you're going to do is you're going to take, sorry, I had a fire. Um, I had a whole building, I blew it out, <laughs> just like that. Um, you replace wherever x is with negative 2.2, because if x is the exact same as negative 2.2, you can take out this x and this x and put in negative 2.2. So let's do that. Negative 2.2 squared. Then times 3 minus 5 times negative 2.2. After that, you're really just doing order of operations. What you know is, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. All right? So we'll start with our first one, parentheses. we got a couple parentheses, so we're going to do them together. This will be separate by itself, and this will be by itself, and then this will be by itself before that other big one. Okay? Now, um, we'll start with this first one. We've got an exponent action going on. Now, be careful when you put this in your calculator. If you just put negative 2.2 squared, it's going to mess up because it'll do 2.2 squared and then stick the negative on the front. You need to use your brain knowledge here and common sense and know that when you do negative 2.2 you're squared, you're essentially doing negative 2.2 times negative 2.2. Therefore, negative times a negative equals a positive. Switch to blue. All right, that's going to be a positive. So therefore, who cares about that? You know that negatives will be gone. You don't have to even put it in there if you don't want. But if you want to, make sure it's inside the parentheses and the exponent is on the outside of the parentheses. So 2.2 squared, which is the same as 2.2 times 2.2, is 4.84. All right, now let's do our other side. we got to do the little parentheses first. It's inside the other one. A lot of times you'll see brackets on the outside or the inside. It doesn't matter. Just do whatever's in the inside first. All right, so essentially we've got to do negative 2.2 times negative 5. Once again, that's a negative times a negative, so you know it's going to be a positive. So I'm going to go and put it down there, and then I can just do 5 times 2.2. If you take, if you use your knowledge and your common sense, you can take out some common mistakes people make. Okay, you don't even have to incorporate that because you know your negative 5 times your negative 2.2 is going to be a positive number no matter what. That's what they do. Two wrongs make a right. Okay? Therefore, I could put negative 5 times negative 2.2, but then you're adding more areas you can mess up. You don't want to do that. So you're just going to do 5 times 2.2, which we know 5 times 2 is 10, and then 5 times 0.2 would be 1, so it would be 11. Anywho, so we're going to finish this little guy. Let me screw Man, that's beautiful. All right, so our last step, still do what's in parentheses because it's ahead of everything else. It's going to be 4.84 times 14 and when you multiply that in your brain r2d to it 67.76 and that is your answer and guess what don't tell anybody i love you hey tyler here don't forget to subscribe check out tarveracademy.com check it out tweet many questions check out the other youtube go to the website Bye-bye. Subscribe, by the way. Shoot me any questions you got and I'll help you out. Bye-bye.